Now these little things are what's called a poisson chat, but they're horrible little things. They whittle away your boilies and can be a pain in the neck because you'll be fishing all night with nothing on your hook. So here's a close-up of their face. They, they look like a, a, a whale's catfish actually, but they're, they're not the same species. They're sort of American bullhead catfish and they're uh, in quite a few waters in France. So if you come across these things, don't put them back. And I'm just going to show you now a few little secrets and tricks so that you can not catch these little things or that your bait will at least stay on the line to give you a chance to catch the carp. Now there are several ways of preventing these horrible little fish getting your baits and giving the carp a better chance to, to pick them up. The first is you net your baits. As you can see here, you can buy this netting in tackle shops or just use wedding veil or, or a mosquito netting or something of the sort. Uh, you wind it around your bait and tie it in a knot and then just slide that on the hair like the two baits I've got on this rig and that keeps your baits safe from the fish for, for quite a few hours you'll probably find you get most of the night out of those. The second method is plastic bait. Here I've got uh, plastic sweet corn that's, uh, that's very good. You can, uh, you can use that uh, either on the hair and then feed with sweet corn or, uh, or maize or, or something else. Maize is quite good because they don't particularly like maize. And the third one is the uh, shrink tubing. You get this uh, shrink tubing that's the same diameter as your bait or very close. You uh, clip a piece off, slip it over the bait and put it uh, in front of a boiling kettle or drop it into hot water and this then shrinks around the bait and, uh, but leaving the sides so the bait flavours can leak out and the fish can, the carp can still find the bait. But this again keeps the, uh, the hook bait fairly safe from the, from the attacks of the poisson chat. So there we have uh, two or three little tricks uh, that will help you get the most out of your fishing and the, the poisson chat won't be too much of a pain. As I said before, there's not a lot in this lake, but uh, any lake that you get these, or even crayfish come to that, these little tips can help you catch more fish.